Anyone who has shopped in one of Atlanta's upscale business districts has inevitably seen many displays of varnished bread in the smarter boutiques and restaurants located there, much like this display of varnished bread in the window of Capo's restaurant. But why do people varnish perfectly good bread when much of the world is starving? Mysteries of the Universe wants to know. On tonight's edition of Celebrity Home Workshop, we'll find out as we visit with television personality Dick Richards, who along with James Bond and Patsy Duncan bring you the fantastically popular American music show seen here on this channel, and whose hobby, incidentally, is varnishing bread. After a busy day of TV taping, nothing is more relaxing for me than varnishing some bread. Let me change it to something more practical, and I'll show you how it's done. Of course, as a busy television personality, I don't have time to bake breads and varnish them too. So I have chosen some breads that can be purchased at the supermarket. These croissants, and this loaf of the new butter crust style bread. I particularly like this groove down the center. Now this loaf presents a unique problem that I will tell you about later. But first, let's varnish these croissants. It's really quite simple. All you do is take this shellac, which is simply another name for varnish, and paint it on the croissant. Being careful not to spoil the croissant's flaky beauty. croissants set on a rack to dry, let's turn our attention to this butter crust bread. Now since it's pre-sliced, we're going to have to glue it back together again before it can be varnished. Now what I'm using is this can of spray mount that you can get in any art supply store and these toothpicks. lovely, isn't it? And ready to be varnished. And you varnish it just as you did the croissant with this can of shellac and this brush. You paint the varnish on and then set the bread on a rack to dry. finish comes the most rewarding part of varnishing breads, and that's the shriek of thrill and delight you'll hear when you present a gift of your handiwork to a close personal friend. Let me demonstrate. Hi Shirley, I've been varnishing some bread, and I brought you a gift loaf. That's the most beautiful loaf of varnished bread I've ever seen.
aren't these things great? I know I've certainly enjoyed playing with mine. 